screen. So we can get that to you guys. All right. Well, let's start with our hamstring stretch. Let's go through the usual stretches and then hopefully we'll throw some curve balls your way. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Do you guys see Danielle? Yeah, I'm here. We don't see you. I don't see you. Do you have it on gallery view? Hold on. No, I, I have a, I don't know what that is. In the top right, there's usually an option of speaker view or gallery view. I can get it back here. Yeah. You good? Okay. All right. When I moved it, I touched something. Got it. Yeah, I tried re using the surface temperature thermometer thing we have for your forehead on my hands to see how cold they were, and apparently I'm dead. It wouldn't even register. <laughs> My forehead registers, but my hands is not doable. All right, let's go across the body next for that outside of thigh stretch from the butt down to your hip. So this week, um, tomorrow I'm gonna launch a blog about IT band syndrome. And this is one of the stretches that works really well for it because you're stretching the muscles on the side of the thigh and hip. So if you're bored and have some free time, check out our website tomorrow. We'll be talking about IT band syndrome. Okay. But who has time to be bored? We're so busy. But I do think people are starting to get very busy again, but people are also starting to get coronavirus again. So maybe we should do more things like stay home and read a blog <laughs> and go out. Yep. Uh... Has anyone been more achy because of the cold or status quo? Status quo okay. for me. All right, let's go away from the body next. Ow, but I keep my ow, how so warm. I know, we've been having to keep the doors open here. It's 65 degrees in here right now. <coughs> I'm gonna start wearing mittens and a beanie inside. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, the patients haven't complained too much because I think they're moving a lot more than I am. And they're so happy to be there that they can be there. Yeah. Did you get um uh, not snow, but what is it called? Hail. Hail, yes. Yes, I was on a hike during the hailstorm and got pelted with it. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. I heard a really loud roar of thunder. Okay, uh -huh. go into figure four stretch. And it started drizzling a little bit. We're like, oh, no big deal. So we just kept going. And then all of a sudden we started getting pelted with hail. Oh, no. So we ran under some tree cover, but it was still coming through. And wow. we had a soggy rest of our hike after that. Oh, no. Where were you hiking? Up in the headlands. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. If you go on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see it. I shared it. Yeah, that was a nice picture. Ow, yeah. ow, that you took. <laughs> yeah, and it was just crazy because like the Golden Gate Bridge seemed like a line. So on the ocean side of the Golden Gate Bridge, relatively sunny and nice. On the bay side, it was like a black cloud of doom. Wow. And so it was crazy. It was almost like a perfect line. Wow. Weird. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. Lasso up the other foot for hamstring stretch here. Uh, 
Is everybody still getting out and moving around even though it's cold or are we all locked in our house? I'm locked in. Okay. I'm locked in because my painters are here and I leave the house open for them to use the bathroom. So okay. I'm trying to stay around. Got it. Well, actually it's the con it's the uh, it's the uh, wood guys that are here first. Carolyn, how about you? you? Using your treadmill or going outside? Actually, I'm I'm working more. Yeah, but the highlight of my week is that we're um, hosting four baby squirrels in our yard. Oh, oh. they're going to bring a box over and hang it from the tree, and then I've got to <laughs> feed them every day and give them water. Oh, interesting. How yeah. sweet. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, All right, let's go across our body. So do you keep them like in a box in a tree or in your house? Oh, they're outside. They're, they're in a box that they bring. It's, a, it's a, their home. Okay. And they live in that and we put, um, they bring, give me food to give them. And I have to put food and water out just for one week. And then they'll be on their own, I guess. I have to ask her that. Oh, is that are they wild, gonna get water? wild care? Yes, yes. I love wild care. Is that the place in San Rafael? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're wonderful. They take care of every kind of wildlife that's injured imaginable. That's cool. Yep. A, a baby turkey once um, fell out of the nest and and came over to me when I was sitting on the bench here and, it, and I took it to wild care and it turned out to be a week old. Wow. And they took so away from the body next. Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. They took care of it until it was old enough to come back. And then I went and picked it up and brought it back and it flew off into the wild. That's cool. So I just love yeah. wild care. Yeah, they're a great organization. That was really interesting at the very beginning of the shelter in place, how many more animals you just saw out and about because everyone was driving less and it was really interesting. Oh, sure. And now they're back inside or hiding in the bushes or whatever. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. All right, let's go on to the figure four stretch. Did anyone get sore last time after doing those slow motion squats? A bit. It's a little, in a good way, in muscles or in, in your joints? Um, my muscles. Okay, so in a good way. Awesome. Okay. That was really the only new, new thing we did. Well, and we did the hip circles too, actually. How'd that feel? Oh, yeah, those were good. That's good. That's, that's hard, actually. Okay. Yeah, we Kim did, and I did those again yet, and yesterday. They're really we need to do those more often because they are really hard. Once in a while. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do the quad or front of thigh stretch. So I think you all liked doing it sideline last week when we did it that way. Yeah. So pick a side, any side. We want to try to utilize your screen as a mirror, right? You want to try to keep your thighs parallel to each other, and you want to try to keep your leg extended. So for most of you, because we're women, our hips are wider than our knees. So letting our knees drop and touch together, my thighs are not parallel. So you should have a little space between your knees for most of us. And then pull your heel back towards your butt while keeping your tummy tight and your buns tight to protect your back.
Yeah. Found it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened today. It was a small group. I looked last night and I'm like, only three. I'm going to wait to send the invitation till the morning. Hopefully more people will join on and no. Huh. It's not a holiday. Yeah, I don't know. When do you set up the next meeting? I always wait till Friday to um, to purchase the, the class. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's, you set it up by Friday? I, or are they all set up already? They're all set up. I think oh. they're set up for, through the end of the year, I think. All right, let's switch oh, okay. sides. You can, you can purchase them on Mind Body ahead of time. Yeah, most of you, I think, still have plenty of credit. Yeah, I do. I think. Let me look. I can, I can check. Yeah, so Carolyn, you have six remaining after today. Kim, you have two remaining after today on this current package, but you might have more. And then Lori, you have three of 24 remaining. Wait, oh, I only have three left? In your 24 pack, but you might have also bought another one when we had a deal. I don't know. I don't know. So. Okay. But you bought that package back on 12 16 2019, so a year ago. Because of the delay, it lasted you an actual whole year. <laughs> oh, okay. So this time to renew then. Yeah. Okay, thanks for letting me know. And I gotta make sure they're on the schedule for the next rest of the year. Because today, for, for some reason, it wasn't on my schedule. I must have accidentally deleted it or skipped a week when I was setting it all up. But we fixed it. Maggie hustled and got everyone adjusted and made it work. Yes. Okay, so now let's go into that half kneeling position for the front of your hip stretch or your hip flexor stretch. So one knee on the cushion kneeling, the other one out in front. We want our feet hip width apart. Kim, if you'd rather do it standing on a chair, you can do that if kneeling hurts too much. No, okay. it doesn't. All right. Okay, so make sure feet are hip width apart. Make sure your hips are squared straight ahead. We don't want our hips opened or rotated. You want them flush forward. And then make sure you, when you're pressing your hips forward, the press comes from your butt cheek and not from your low back. So we do not want a big curve in our low back. Kind of like a butt. Tilt our pelvis backwards and take the curve out of our low back. That's how I think of it, is the tilt, uh, pelvic tilt. Yeah, the backwards pelvic tilt, yep. Yep. Kim, are you wearing your black socks with the white dots? Yeah, I certainly am. Oh, aren't they toasty warm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carolyn, I like that you going up onto your tiptoe does increase the stretch, but if it's too much, you can, and also makes balance a little harder, so you can fiddle with that. I got my toe, my forward toe? No, in the back, you tucked up onto your toe oh. back. That'll increase the stretch and make the balance a little more challenging. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. Uh, again, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, my house smells like brownies. Oh, you made them again. Oh, nice. I, I just, I bought the two boxes yesterday and I haven't had a chance to make them. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, I think. Okay, one right. box makes a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, you said to use the big pan. The, the, We're making, um, um, Danielle, we're making brownies for our workers on our house. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Instead of not... Like them. 
Or, yeah. Kim, instead of nuts, I got a bag of um, chocolate chips to put on top. Oh, yeah, that's good. Whoa. Too. <laughs> chocolate, brown chocolate. chocolate chips. Hershey's, Hershey's chocolate chips. Yum. Ooh, that's going to be really sweet. I know. Okay. So since we're already somewhat kneeling, I want to go into all fours, and I want to do bird dogs today. Does everyone remember that? Yeah. So we want to get our hands right underneath our shoulders, our knees right under our hips, and I want to be very stacked, right? I don't want to shift my weight forward. I don't want to shift my weight back, especially as I get going, okay? What I want to try to do is go for 45 seconds. You're just going to reach out, hold it two, three seconds, come back down, opposite, and you're going to keep alternating. I'll let you know when we've hit 45 seconds. We'll take a break. And then we'll do a second round. Now, for people with shoulder issues, don't worry about lifting your arm too high. As long as your hand is off the ground and your leg is extending back, we're still getting that diagonal core strength we're looking for and the stability and the strengthening in this hand and shoulder and the knee and the hip that are down. That's the focus. Okay. All right, ready, go. Hold it about three seconds on your own go. Slowly return and keep alternating. I'll tell you when we've hit 45 seconds. Wow, it's not hurting my shoulder today. Good. It's this getting stronger because you're actually using it. This is great. Yeah. Wow. Can you see? Can yep. That I'm this is actually reaching a little today. I know. This is wonderful. Prevention's the best medicine, man. Ah, oh, I second that motion. <laughs> <sighs> and rest. Whoa. You can sit back on your heels, do toes, stretch your shoulders out. You're lucky you didn't blow the circuit. You didn't turn the heater off. All right. Now you can turn the heater off. Yep. So I don't forget when I microwave. Okay. I know. So you're lucky. <laughs> okay. Round two. Okay. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Lori, take a little look in the in your mirror, right? Shift your weight forward on your hands a little more. Do you see how you're, yes. You're, oh, yeah, like that. Yep, ready, go. Got it, okay. A little more shaky on round two, I like it. Oh, yeah. You're giving us a workout, Danielle. Well, isn't that what you pay the big bucks for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like doing the virtual because I think you guys are all getting more creative of how to do all these things at home, which will hopefully mean you're doing it more at home. Yeah. And just when you come in here, it's been a good thing for everyone. Oh, yeah. Kim and I are really good about doing it at home. That's Hi. great. Because we have each other to force us to do it. That helps. Okay. And anyone that wants to join us is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that was good. Okay. So that was for hip stability, shoulder stability, core strength on the backside. Now we're going to flip over onto our back. What I want to try to do today is a bridge with a march. So let me do a demo here. So we're going to do a two leg bridge. Once I'm up at the top, I'm going to have my hands lightly on my hips. I want to try to lift one foot up, lift the other foot up, slowly lower. Okay. What I don't want to have happen is it. <coughs> up is my hip drops. Okay, so I gotta keep both hips straight up to the ceiling. 
ceiling, okay? So up, march, march, keep the hips level, down slow. You're just gonna do that on your own pace. Again, we'll do two rounds of 45 seconds. Okay, go. So try not to let the height of your hips drop or rock as you lift. If we're cramping, keep the weight in your heels. And you don't have to lift too high again, as long as your foot's off the floor, you're working on that instability. Okay, and rest. How was that? Whew, that was good. Okay, a little cramping I saw from people, but I think we survived. <laughs> the weight in the heel really does help to make your glutes do more work than your hamstrings. So any sort of bridging exercise, if you come across that cramping feeling, try shifting the weight a little more into your heels in general. Okay. Anyone have low back pain with that or okay? Okay. All right, we ready for round two? All right, weight in the heels, feet hip width apart. Ready, go. Keep breathing. Try not to hold your breath as you get tired here. 10 more seconds, you guys got it. And rest. Okay, Woo, that got you guys good. That was another good new one. All right. Good one, yeah. I'm not trying to, you know, throw different versions of everything we've already done at you, right? You guys all know how to use your core with your glutes and your hamstring to do all different types of bridges, but just throwing a little twist kind of throws a little chaos into your workout and might actually get you a little sore instead of doing the same thing over and over and over again. But one thing we will continue to do over and over again, I'll use that as a transition, is clamshells. So let's go to that one next. Penny. <laughs> Those never <laughs> <are here. laughs> And today I want you guys to think about that tempo again. So I want you to take about five seconds to get to the top. Pause, five seconds to lower down. And I do not want the top of my clam to be fast and then the rest of the four seconds being the part where there's no tension on the band, right? So I'm gonna slowly get up to the top. Pause, and it should be an equal descent the whole five seconds, not fast and then slow. All right, we'll go for 90 seconds. Ready, go. That looks pretty good. And as you get tired, it's going to get a lot harder to go slow from the very top. Don't let that band win. You're the boss. Are being sharper, they help you defend, they help 
Still on the burn? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, I thought, 15 seconds. I thought you said Laverne. <laughs> Laverne and Shirley. Yeah, right. That's exactly what I flashed on. <laughs> so. All right, let's roll over to the other side. Good work. Nice, slow work. That's what we want. Keep those muscles under tension of the band. So get those hips stacked, feet stacked, knees stacked. Keep that core tight as we lift up. Pause at the top, five seconds down two. Don't let the band start winning. And if there's one side you can't open up as big on, that's okay. Just still make the control be equally as good. Fifteen seconds. As soon as class is over, I'm going to add my 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 sessions to. to yeah, my just look to see how many I've left because if you bought another twelve pack in January, which you may have, then you may not need to buy more. Okay, good. I buy a twenty-four pack. All right. Well, let's untie yourself here. Okay. We're going to come up to standing. Now, everyone has a step in their house, right? So, Carolyn, you can be on your treadmill, and you other two have stairs, right? Yep. Right. Okay. What I want to try today is doing double leg heel raises off of a step. Okay. 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 Is my bike. Oh. Well, hopefully, you can hang on to handrails okay, at home or on your treadmill railing. You're going to come up and we're going to slowly lower and go below the step with your heels. And then up nice and tall, slowly drop down, up nice and tall. Okay, so we're going to try those. We're going to try them for a minute. So I think these are going to make you mega burn. Okay, I don't think you'll, I don't know. I don't know. I'll trust you. If I can't see it, it's okay. What are we going to do? Oh, it's calf raises off the step. So if you put the balls of your feet on the edge of the stair, hanging on to your handrails, and you're going to go up as high as you can, and then down really slow and let your heels drop below and kind of enjoy that calf stretch we get below. Equal weight through both legs, rise up. Pause at the top and then down slow. I'll let you know when it's a minute, and if you guys feel like we can go more, we'll go for the 90. Do you see me with me? I can. I can see all your guys. I can't see most of you, but I can see all your heels. <laughs> nice slow descent. Enjoy that little pull down at the bottom in your calves.
And this just makes it different because we're dropping below. Normally we stop at the ground. And so by dropping below, we're working the muscle through a bigger motion or a deeper motion. All right, that's one minute. If you guys are doing okay, I'll keep the timer going. If you wanna do a few more, if you're pooped out, you can stop, that's fine. I'll go for the 90, but don't be the tough guy because these can make you sore and you won't be able to put your heels on the ground tomorrow. <laughs> we'll have to wear high heels. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, there, we made 90, good. All right, so now let's do our runner stretch. Make sure your feet are straight ahead. Don't let that back toe turn out. Let's see. Oh, oh you can't. Oh, well. Wow. That's all right. I know you know how to do this. I'm not yeah. talking about it. I love this one. I just <laughs> love it. So, ah. Uh. And I always look back to make sure my back foot is straight. Yeah, it's amazing how many people toe out. Yeah. And they absorb all the stretch through the arch of their foot by doing that. So you want to make Ouch. your foot straight ahead. And you're getting a good calf stretch and that heel is glued to the ground. Don't let it lift up. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Hey, Danielle, don't forget I'm going to see you online tomorrow. Thursday, I thought. I mean Thursday. Okay. Tomorrow's my day off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve a day off, Kim. You've been working very hard. Not, not really. I don't deserve it, but. <laughs> as long as you don't eat all those brownies you made, you can have a day yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Danielle, I have your wine. So. Oh, okay. yay. I don't know how much I want cold white wine right now, but it'll keep. <laughs> it'll warm up a day and I'll like it that day. <laughs> <sighs> Ten seconds. That was hopefully a good sigh. Yeah, it was. It's, I love this runner stretch. I just love it. Okay. So uh, Last one I want to do that's somewhat new. We've touched on it a couple of times and we'll finish with one you're familiar with is that golfer pickup motion. Okay. So maybe you want to use something to hang on to for balance. You can use a chair or a stick or a hallway wall, whatever the case may be. You're going to stand on one leg. And you're going to shift the weight into your heel. You're going to bend over as if you were going to pick something up. You don't have to go all the way to the floor and back up. So, so the same, the same leg and arm go down. Yes. So I'm going to reach towards the floor with the leg that's going up behind. I want to make sure my hips are staying square. So as I bend over, I don't want my hips to open up. Right? I'm falling over because I'm doing it wrong. Hips are both pointing straight down to the ground and come back up. And you're trying to keep the weight in your heel, okay? As you bend over, you should feel a kind of a stretching motion in your hamstring. And hopefully by the time you do about 10 on each side, you're gonna feel a little work in your glute, your hamstring and your calf on the leg you're standing on. Yeah, I already feel it. So if your right leg is going up, your right hand is going down towards the ground or vice versa. Let's just do about 10. Just nice. We, we hold it. Yeah, just pause and then back up. You don't really have to hold. If you think of those, uh, what do they call them? Drinking oh. birds. 
It's like the woodpecker thing that tips its head towards water and back up. And that's what you oh, yeah. Be like. Yeah, that's hard. No wonder this hurt me the first time we tried doing it. I was doing it totally wrong. I was doing one arm and the opposite leg. Ah. No wonder. This is... Well, you end up you were trying to do it without holding on like I was. That may have also got you. Uh, and so this is a great balance one as well. Obviously, you feel how much the weight kind of shifts around throughout your foot as you do this, right? Yeah. Oh. So glutes, hamstrings, and calves is what we should feel with this as well as some balance work. Ooh. Hips are burning? Yep. Good. Yep. And when you're done with 10 of those on each side, let's get your clam band down around your ankles and some dumbbells for bicep curls. We're going to do the side steps with the bicep curls. I forgot to count. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Just get that same burn on both sides. I got my five pound weights. Nice. For arms or for ankles? Uh, arms. I have them for ankles too, but I don't think I'm using them. Okay. It's wrong way. All right. All right. So what we're going to try to do is do side step with bicep curls. And if we go maybe 10, 15 steps in one direction, and then we'll come back. Now I know we're focusing on arms as well as legs here, but what I want to do is make sure that there's never slack on the band down around my ankles, okay? We wanna make sure there's always a little tension on that band. Okay. So being shoulder width, hip width, shoulder width, hip width, ankles should not touch. This is great. <coughs> My shoulder is so much better today. Good. I can do this. I wasn't able to do it this time. No, you were just scared to do it. I don't know if you were able, not able to do it. I think you're right. I was scared. <laughs> you were right. I was scared. Yeah. Whoa. I am pooped. <laughs> well, we're almost less than a minute to go. So if we cut off, just whatever you do, make yourself balanced. If you went twice to the right, make sure you go twice to the left. Okay. Thank you for the good class, Danielle. You're welcome. Thanks for participating. Hopefully we have a bigger group next week. Oh, this was great. Oh. <coughs>